I'm going to tell you a secret and we're going to keep it between us. Um, so we did, when I was uh, running a roofing company, I, I, I thought to myself, what are ways that I can start networking with some of the local business owners in my, in my area? And so I started a, I started a podcast and we were literally filming it on my cell phone on a tripod and I had a couple microphones, just a little setup for a couple microphones with it. And we just sat with a one camera setup talking. And what the point of why I did this was I made a list of who were the con, who are the people in my area that if they would recommend me to everyone, I would get instant. Um, I would get instant what's the word trust from, from Dream people bread. because these are, these <laughs> yeah. are local business owners of, of local companies. So I wrote all those people down and I invited them to be on a podcast with me. And the reason why I did that is because it is way easier to get someone to go on a podcast with you than it is to just cold call someone and say, Hey, I want to take you to lunch, especially when the purpose of my content what or the purpose of the podcast was, Hey, this is where we showcase local brands that are doing really cool things in the community. So when I pitch it that way to a local entrepreneur, I'm going to go and I'm going to have a 30 minute conversation with someone that's super authentic and genuine. And it is because I do want to have conversations with these people. I want to get to know them, but it's so much of a better way of getting in front of them. If you say, Hey, I want to create content with you versus, Mm -hmm. Hey, I want to get something from you. Mm -hmm. I love that. I I call that finding your amplifiers. There's people like this in every single neighborhood that's an amplifier for you. And if if you can work with them or if you can collaborate with them in some way, then they become a high lever, a customer for you where now you have all this leverage and trust that you've won by association with this person where everyone else who trusts that person already now now you get their second degree trust as well. So that's a lot smarter way of trying to build a mark, um, a base of customers than just trying to do it all on your own brand. And it's way easier when you're cooperative with the folks in your community than trying to do it solo. So huge tactic and idea there. And way cheaper too. Like, like this is grassroots campaigning and this is what you should be doing before you spend any money with a marketing team or marketing agency build up that name internally and, and, and you went to the person and the other ways of doing it is like, you know, volunteering uh, chamber of commerce or Pete, what's the, what Ty, Ty backer. He does the uh, Turkey roast. Is it? Yeah. He does the Turkey salute. Yeah. The, yep. the Turkey salute every year. And he has this huge thing and he just is the community roofer. Ty backer is a massive company, T, uh, TC backer. And it's a hu- huge company. But they still do the grassroots thing because that's what they got got them to the dance. And that makes a huge difference whether you're, you know, doing it online on a podcast form, you're in chamber of commerce, you're in the meetings, start locally and then expand out. 